This has never happened in our two cities, never. The worst mass shooting that the state of Maine has ever experienced and could ever imagine. Shock and grief in the state of Maine as law enforcement looks for the person who shot and killed 18 people. The 11 o'clock news on KTVU Fox 2 starts now. Right now, agencies are frantically looking for a 40-year-old man who they say shot and killed the 18 people at a bowling alley and bar in a small city in Maine. Good evening and thanks for joining us this Thursday. I'm Christina Rendon. And I'm Mike Meebach. Tonight, law enforcement surrounded a home for several hours, but their suspect nowhere to be found. KTVU's Zach Sauce live tonight in studio where he's been tracking the latest on the manhunt. Zach? Yeah, that's right. Police issuing eight murder warrants for a car today and more expected to come as Wednesday's 10 remaining victims are identified. Meantime, the ongoing manhunt, as you mentioned, now extending beyond Maine's borders and closer to Lewiston, where this all took place. People within 50 miles being told to lock their doors. Searching by air, land, and water, a massive manhunt for Robert Card, the 40-year-old U.S. Army reservist and firearms instructor believed to be behind Wednesday's mass shooting in nearby Lewiston, which left 18 people dead and 13 others injured. Police conducting several search warrants on Thursday, but Card failing to turn up. He should be considered armed and dangerous. Investigators say he used an assault rifle, taking aim at those inside a bowling alley and then a bar and grill before apparently ditching his car near a boat ramp in nearby Lisbon. I just booked it um, down the lane and I slid basically into where the pins are and climbed up in the machine and was on top of the machines for about 10 minutes until the cops got there. 24 hours after the shooting, the close-knit community of Lewiston, a city of just 37,000 people, devastated. It's heartbreaking. This is our friends, our family, our loved ones, our town, our city. Among the reported victims, Joseph Walker, a manager at the bar where a card allegedly opened fire on patrons. I know if my son was here with me, he would say that he was sorry for all the others that are lost and the families that are going through what I'm going through right now. For now, a father, a community forced to grieve on lockdown as authorities press ahead with their search. Investigators continuing to delve into Card's past, which reportedly included a two-week stay in a mental health facility this summer after telling Army Reserve commanders he was hearing voices. Maine lawmakers promising the suspect will be brought to justice. This city did not deserve this terrible assault on its citizens, on its peace of mind, <clears throat> on its sense of security. No city does, no state, no people. Everyone is determined to bring the killer to justice. And Wednesday's attack, the worst mass shooting in Maine's history and the deadliest in the country so far this year, the 36th mass shooting to take place in the U.S. since January.